Hey guys and welcome back. I'm happy to see you again. So today we're talking about how you can easily monitor your Docker environment with a Zabbix with no cost using the Zabbix Agent 2. And, <clears throat> and the configuration itself will take just a couple of minutes. So if you're interested in this type of videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let's get started. So what I have here is just a GitHub, uh, GitHub of the Zabbix and basically we're in the folder uh, templates where you can find all up-to-date existing templates then in the folder app and there is a docker if you upgraded your Zabbix installation uh, from some older versions there is a chance that you actually don't have this template in your front end so you might go to the configuration templates and simply not find docker but by Zabbix agent 2 in that case, you can just download this template from the GitHub, import it to your Zabbix frontend, and you're good to go. Uh, it says for the Zabbix version 6.2 and higher, simply because we're currently in uh, trunk branch of the GitHub, but it is supported since... Uh, 5.4 or 5.2 so it should be fine and uh, here you'll also find a description of everything that is uh, collected and monitored by this template uh, out of the box but again we will do the actual hands-on installation and configuration and talk about everything that you need to keep in mind when setting up this monitoring so for our demo i have a oracle linux 8 uh, machine and uh, Nothing is started here, so it's just booted up. Uh, I don't have a Zabbix at the moment, not even a database. I think I do have Agent 2, but it's not running. So first of all, what we need, we need to get a Zabbix. And uh, in this case, since we will be monitoring a Docker containers, and normally I don't have any Docker containers running, so we will actually run our Zabbix in a Docker which will give us the interface of the Zabbix uh, 6.0 in our case. And we will use the same Zabbix in the containers to connect the Zabbix agent running on this machine, which will be monitoring the containers of the Zabbix. So it's kind of like a full circle. And first of all, to start uh, the Zabbix in the Docker, we need to go to the Zabbix Docker folder and uh, just type docker minus compose minus f uh, docker com compose v3 alpen uh, my sql latest and up minus d so i've already started it uh, a couple of minutes before so it don't it doesn't require to download all the containers and that's why the startup basically took like a couple of seconds and then we can type in the ip address of my virtual machine like this one 56 101 56 101 we can click enter and there we go we are inside a front end and the version is the Zabbix 6.0 but again if you're running on 5.4 it's it's also fine you're still able to monitor uh, your docker containers and the Zabbix agent is not available again because everything is stopped I don't have any Zabbix agent running right now um nothing like that and we have just a default host zabbix server with availability red again because i don't have a zabbix agent running and we will be talking about this template we can search for it uh docker there we go docker by the zabbix agent 2 uh class software target docker all good so basically what we need to do first of all uh in our demo we need to create a host on which we will be monitoring our Docker containers. So uh, create a new host. I will call it Docker monitoring. Uh, host group is also mandatory and we will use the Linux servers. And uh, we can also, no, like we can click add. So there we go, Docker monitoring host. Then let's add a template uh, or the templates. There we go, <clears throat> Docker by the Zabbix agent two. So right now we cannot add a template because we need an interface. So again, go back to the host interface, add, this will be through the agent too. That's why we need to add agent interface and IP address. Uh, you might think that it is a local host, but actually again, we have a uh, Zabbix running in the container. Let me make this a little bit uh, better to view. There we go. We have Zabbix still pretty bad. Let's try it like this. Yeah, whatever. Um, Yes, this so Zabbix running in the container, but agent two will be installed locally on the virtual machine, not in the container. That's why I will be using the IP address of uh, the virtual machine itself. 
So 56, 101, just like we have connected to the front end. 56, 101, IP address, default port, and Docker byte is Abix Agent 2. Click update. There we go. We have template Docker by Zabbix Agent 2 linked. And in this template, we have 44 uh, items that will just gather um, generic information about your Docker environment, like the storage driver, NFD, and CPU, name, memory, total, uh, get data usage, uh, container size, how many containers are running and paused, and uh, the C group driver version architecture and stuff like that. But this is specifically about like the Docker environment itself. We are more interested in the discovery rules and the discovery rules will actually discover all the containers that we have. And in our case, we have one for the MySQL A.0, one for the Zabbix server and one for the Zabbix frontend uh, with Nginx on the Alpine operating system. So this discovery rule will discover them and for each container, it will also create a new item based on the item prototypes that will monitor like created, dead error, exit codes, uh, network bytes received, transferred, uh, online CPUs, restarting, and all this pretty valuable information, which is also processed by the triggers so that you can get notified if something bad happens. And uh, Less talking, let's actually configure this monitoring. And conf to configure this monitoring, we need to install Zabbix Agent 2. Uh, fast forward, I actually already have a Zabbix Agent 2 on this machine. But uh, if you don't, then uh, just add a repository. Uh, this line, add a repository of the Zabbix server. And then you can just type yum install Zabbix minus agent, which you might be used to. Just add agent 2. And I will click enter just for the sake of uh, showing you that nothing to do because I have Zabbix Agent 2 already running. And uh, what do we need to do in the Agent 2 configuration? And configuration file is located in Etsy Zabbix, uh, Zabbix Agent 2.conf. Uh, here we first of all need to make sure that in the server parameter we have IP address of your Zabbix server, which will be actually connecting to the um connecting to this agent right so this is the ip address of the docker container and then if we would check the github there is just uh, see the zabbix template operation for basic instructions and uh, you can go here the second one is a docker so only thing that you have to do uh, to work with this docker plugin is uh, set path to the docker docker api endpoint and to do that edit the config file and uh, Oops, sorry, uh, back, edit the config file of agent two and specify this plugins.docker.endpoint equals Unix var on Docker sock. So basically the location of the socket file. And this is also the default one. It is sort of said that you have to do that uh, additional steps and comments to uh, get it up and running. But I am not so sure because if we would go uh, in Etsy Zabbix, Zabbix agent 2.d uh, uh, in the plugins directory, there is a docker.conf, which already has this uh, parameter listed as default. And this is loaded um, <clears throat> when you're starting the Zabbix agent. So I actually think that it's going to be good. We'll see. Uh, we'll try it out. So just systemctl start Zabbix agent 2. Right, there we go. We started this Abix agent 2. We can verify that with uh, uh, the log file, agent 2 log. There we go. Zabbix agent 2 host name, Zabbix server. Everything is started. And then, how can we actually test uh, that uh, everything is running? So, let's go back to the GitHub page. To test availability, just run a Zabbix get to minus s the host where we have this agent 2 installed and key docker.info. So let's try it. Uh, Zabbix get minus s. It is uh, 192.168.56.101, right? Yes, and minus key docker.info or, or status docker.info. Click enter and it doesn't work. Uh, get value TCP read failed, connection reset by, by peer. Uh, actually, I think I have a different uh, address of uh, Docker container. So this one, let's check the IP address, Docker inspect. 
I'll make this full screen just to make it easier to read. Uh, Docker inspect, uh, this is the IP address of my uh, Zabbix server. Yes, the backend uh, 239.3. And let's check once again the Zabbix agent 2 config file uh, server parameter. This one. Yeah, see we had dot two, which is actually the front end and we need uh, dot three. So this is a leftover from my previous test. So we added IP address of our Docker Zabbix server. And then we of course need to restart Zabbix agent. Uh, sorry, Zabbix agent two, there we go. And then we can try again with a Zabbix get minus s, again, IP address of my virtual machine, minus key docker.info. So click enter and there we go. We can actually see that uh, the monitoring works. So the connection to the agent two is successful and agent two docker monitoring plugin is able to successfully connect to our Docker instance. And we can also test with uh, get back to, let me actually do it like this, uh, get back to our front end, go to the configuration hosts, Docker monitoring, discovery rules. We can just copy paste uh, the key from container discovery and uh, run the same Zabbix get just instead of Docker info, uh, copy paste, uh, sorry, failed to copy paste. There we go once again, copy and paste and just move this in the ticks because there are brackets. And there we go. We see also discovery works. So we discovered a Zabbix server container, uh, Zabbix web engine X, uh, Docker MySQL server, everything works. And uh, right now when we confirmed that the connection is successful, we can go back to our front end and we see that the availability is already green. The Docker monitoring has uh, sorry, all hosts, uh, Docker monitoring has 163 items and initially it had only 41 or 43, uh, nine triggers and 17 graphs. And if we would go to the monitoring latest data and filter by the host Docker monitoring, click apply. There we go, we have a lot of items and we can also click uh, show details in this way. Uh, yeah, we can see that uh, a lot of data like uh, <clears throat> Docker container, stats, CPU, the info created state. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Uh, info state restart, CPU usage, C group drivers, uh, containers stop to default runtime, and more and more and more and more, right? So uh, most of the stuff, the stuff is coming from the discovery. 40, 41 or 43 items were built in in the template itself, and everything else comes from the discovery where we discovered images on our Docker system and also the containers. And for all discovered entities, we create the items based on the item prototypes. So this is how you monitor your Docker with a Zabbix.